Hey everybody, I am back with messages at your request. We're going to check at the virus. We're going to look at the overall energies. We are going to look um, at the purpose of it. Why was this done on purpose? That's the question that you want to know. The answer you want to know. Was this done on purpose? Do we have a cure? Will things get better? Um, and will United States be affected in a big way? Okay, uh, so this is one of the situations where I'm able to say I've been keeping up. So that's a good thing. Um, brings more insight, I guess. But um, before I cut on this recording, I was a little fearful, you all. I, I really was. I was a little fearful. And the things that I saw on TV, the images and just all the reports that's coming in, I had a little um, anxiety and more of alerting myself about what was happening. But when I got ready to do these messages, I was kind of shocked that, um, I didn't feel a lot of panic. I expected to feel this panic. I expected to feel, um, twice as much emotions than what I had on a day-to-day -day basis about it. But actually I felt more of a comfort. Um, so I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm telling you, I really felt a little bit more comfort. I felt, um, I didn't feel the anxiety. I didn't feel the panic. Um, I felt like things was being covered or protected as a whole. Um, this is not to say that, of course, this is not happening. Of course it's happening. But I'm just surprised that the energy around it feels more relaxing inside of these messages than on the outside of them. And um, that was a little weird to me. I don't know what that meant. But um, even with the overall energies, it's pretty much saying that things is um, balanced overall. Based on everything that is happening, things is stabilized, things is being juggled, things is secure. Um, there are more spiritual messages to come, more enlightening or enlightenment to come about what's happening. Uh, we don't have the full revelation of everything. Um, this is really not, a, um, this is like an individual thing. This is not about a, a big group of people. This is about an individual thing. Um, and this probably doesn't make sense right now. So let me answer this question. Was this done on purpose? No. I got to know, and I'm very serious and careful with this too, because this is um, life-changing. Um, I got to know, and I think that connects to why this is a one-on-one -on -one single thing. Um, I have a mistake. I have that this was done by mistake. I don't have this being done on purpose. Um, it wasn't on purpose. It wasn't planned. It wasn't... Um, a, a violent or malicious intent. This is actually carelessness of um, an individual desire to to um, let me say it the right way. An individual desire to want to know more and want to have weapons for the future and in some kind of way that virus came out um, of that um, facility so this was definitely being worked on this was definitely um, something that was being created and used to be used for later to be used for war um, and I keep getting individual and I really think this can be their, um, their leader or president there. I think that this was his individual choice or desire, um, to study this disease and to see how, um, great and strong it is to have for a weapon for the future. Actually, this feels so normal to me. Like they do this all the time. I don't know how this thing became so careless to a point where it got spilled out. That I don't know. I think they pretty much underestimated this. 
something odd about that part. I can't believe that they were that careless. The reason why I say that right now is because when you asked, you wanted to know, was this done on purpose? And I got three no's. No, it wasn't done on purpose. It wasn't even thought about. It wasn't even uh, the intent to spread this out to many people. No, that's not the desire of the person. That's not desire of the plan. That wasn't the desire of the universe. No. Um, was it done on purpose? No. It is 100% clear that this was not planned and done on purpose. However, it was offered. And that makes me believe that uh, this is something that they were testing. This is something they were testing, creating, testing. This is work as usual. Work as usual. I keep seeing, seeing um, male and female like a, I don't know, but I'll probably leave that part alone. Felt like a couple or something. But <clears throat> this was... Um, Something that they do. This is not new. They this is what they was doing. They was offering this to the leader. They was coming up with different ways to please them, please the leader, the president. Coming up with different potions, um, coming up with the best dangerous thing to make them happy to please them. How did they get out? I don't know. It bothers me how he got out, and I'll tell you why. Is because. Um, they do this all the time. So I'm sure that the safety measures are the same. It's like, why this? How did this one come out? Mm -mm -mm. I tell you the truth. Why do I feel I really do? That don't make no sense to me. Maybe I should just start this one over. Maybe I should stop this and... Um, okay. All right. So, so let's start this over. Well, we really not starting over, but let's do a summary. <clears throat> so as I told you before I started these messages, I personally am very concerned. I personally felt anxiety about this. I personally been on alert when I began to relax and meditate on these messages and um, the questions that was asked of me. I began to feel better. I began to feel better and lighter than I felt about it before I started. That was shocking to me. After that, I started to feel content and I started to feel like things was being taken care of. That's one thing. And I know that everything I see on TV, the majority of it is true. I got that part covered. But if you're basing it off of everything that's happening, some kind of way, um, this is being taken care of or covered or handled compared to how worse it could have been. Now, that's one thing I can't put a period on. I'm complete with that statement. <clears throat> when I look at the overall messages, when it's time to look at the table, um, I'm looking at things being juggled, balanced, handled, figured out, working on it, stabilizing the situation. We do know that there is more information that's going to come out about this, more enlightenment that's going to come out. And that enlightenment has a lot to do with a person. I'm sure about that. This person is individual. This is a one-on-one. -on -one. This is about one person. And I believe that we're going to get more information about a person who um, desired this thing to be tested, created, or handled. This is a person situation. And I do believe that person is probably the president or the person in charge of this um, company as a whole. The place where they test these viruses and bio things. It's the person who's in charge of that, the leader. We'll get more information about that person. So that part is covered. I just want to take one more moment to look at this. Okay. And yes, this has been done before. This is a repeated thing. This is something that they do. So that puts me back with the leader and the president of this place. This is what they do. This is a normal thing. This has been happening repeatedly where they test, create these different type of weapons. 
Okay. That's done. That is covered. All right. Now, the question that you asked was, was this done on purpose? Was this done with the intent to kill others? Was this done to cause this type of chaos and hurt many, many, many people? No, this was not thought of in that way. No, this is not the intent and desire of the people inside of that place, whatever that place was in Wuhan, I think it's called. That is not their intent. That was not their desires. And um, that was never a plan. That answer is no. Done with that. All right. So now, um, but it was offered out. Okay. So that's the thing. Like, no, this wasn't the intent. Yes, we was directly told to create something great. We've been told that. We've been told to create something that pleases the president. This is nothing new. This is what we do. This is our job. However, it was offered out. And what I mean by offered out, we know that it came up out of there. How did it come up out of there? And that's when I saw a man and a woman. I felt like they were a team. I felt like they were a couple. I felt like they were, maybe they worked side by side. Maybe they worked together back to back inside of this room. And I do believe that they actually tried it themselves. I know that's weird, right? I know. I believe that the people who was working on this actually tried it to prove the point. I really do. And and that bothers me because um, because that, that means that it was underestimated. And I do believe that the ignorance of them, because some kind of way I think that they believe that they still wouldn't get out the walls by even trying it. And I don't know what that trying it means, but I keep seeing the first 48 hours to be the most deadly or strongest or the most contagious. I do see that too. Okay, so pause on that one. That weirds me out a little bit. However, justice will be served. That means that everything will be handled. More will be revealed. More will be handled. Based on everything that is happening right now, it's actually being taken care of as best as it possibly can for this moment. More spiritual messages will be coming out on the individual. Justice will be served, but not before conflict. And then help is on the way. Okay, done with that. I actually um, probably spiritually felt relief during meditation because I did see the help. I do see the horses. I do see the help coming. I really do. I don't um, believe that they know it, though. I don't actually believe that. Well, let's go to the next question. I'm getting ahead of myself. You wanted to know if they had a cure. No, no, and no. But the truth of the matter is, overall, yes, help is coming, help is on the way, the cure is coming. But they don't know that right now. That's what they don't know. They're trying to clean up. They're trying to take care of this the best that they can. They have not been making any progress with a cure. Nothing able to they don't have anything available that is able to knock this out in the first 48 yeah they do got stuff to stabilize they do get things to bring comfort they have medication for comfort but I'm showing um, help and help is help. Cure on the way. But not at this time. Which brings me back to my spiritual thoughts of, well, then why would somebody purposely take this knowing that they did not have a cure? That's weird to me. It's even weird that I would think somebody would purposely take it. 
Why is not me? It's just what I'm feeling. Maybe they find a cure later. I don't know. Everybody's trying to cover everybody. Yeah. So let's get to the last one. The last one is how soon would things get better? That's what you wanted to know. They're going to get worse before they get better. We're looking at about three more months of this level of um, worse. We're looking at about three more months. Okay. Yeah, more pain, more deaths, more unhappiness, more um, illness, more people contracting the virus. Yes, we're looking at more people contracting it. We're looking at more people dying. And we are um, going to be in a situation. Um, and that's another thing. Let me just pause for the we. The WE. I've been saying we. Because that's how I feel. I, that's how I think. We we are human beings. We are on the planet. We. And then when I get here, I feel a pinch of separation from the we. I felt a they. I didn't feel a we. I felt a they. Um, but definitely for the next three months, it's going to be a lot more. And then the new beginning comes. We're looking at about three months. Let me tell you what bothers me about the three months. Why would that take us? Okay. Well, that's weird too. That's weird too. Because you could check this on your own. But um, I kept talking about individual. And it's the weirdest thing. Because I actually saw the president over there. Uh, for the first time yesterday, I actually saw the video and I saw that. And he said, we're not going to shake hands due to the virus. But he had a mask and he just wanted the people to, you know, feel comfort that it's safe enough for me to be here, which was weird. But it all, also on that news, it said that um, no more flights until April. Amazing, right? So they're supposed to be stopping all flights until April. That's one thing I do know about what's going on in China. The next thing, Trump. Can't leave him out. Um, He actually said, I just saw this morning, that everything will get better. Everything will be better in April. Still not acknowledging the depths now, but I heard him say something to the point of everything will be better in April. And um, he said something to the point of when it gets warmer, it'll get better. Yeah, how did he know that? How did he know when it get warmer, it'll get better? And and why are they going to stop all flights? Until April 2020. How do you know that spring will get better? How do you know April? How do you know that the heat. And the warmth. Will make things better. So this is something that he was told. Why was he told that? I don't know. I just thought that that was creepy. And the only reason why I brought that up is because I have three months. Yeah. I got the sadness and breakdown. I have more conflict. I have more failing energy. And then out the blue at the three, um, I have this new world, new beginning. The sun comes out. The heat will heal them. The heat will heal them. The heat will stop it. Now, some of you are, I know there's a lot of you guys out there that's much, much smarter than me. And I think you, you'll probably be able to understand that a little bit better. I suck in science and every other subject. <laughs> but um, the sun will be make it better. And I don't get that at all. 
And I don't even understand how he was able to say that in confidence. Uh, what uh, I will assume that he was told that. But I don't know how that, how that could be. But I do have a three-month mark. I have worse. I have sadness. I have struggles. I have troubles. I have more of that. And then I have a cutoff. And I have a new world. I have the sun. I have authority. I have leadership. I have power. I have the higher. But I have uh, order. I have order. What does that mean to me? Who's going to get order in April? Who's going to get things in order in April? I told you that everything is balanced overall. We got more spiritual messages coming through about the president. Who's ours or theirs? Both. We got justice coming through, but not before a little more conflict. And then we got help. So help is on the way. Do the helper know that they're a helper right now? Why do I feel like somebody's going to take credit for helping? Why do I feel like the Savior is not helping now? This feels weird. That felt weird to me. Was it done on purpose? No, but it was offered. It was used. It was an intake. It was ingested. It was an intake. No cure right now. And nobody knows that. It's, everybody knows there's no cure. But help is on the way. Will things get better? No. Families is falling apart. More sickness, more struggles. More problems. More troubles. And then the new world. Then the sun comes out. Then we get the power and authority back. <laughs> I wonder who takes credit for this. Watch the person who takes credit for this. There's something creepy about them. You got an Aries here. I got a Taurus here on the front line. Aries and Taurus comes in to bring the help. Aries first. And then Taurus. Aries first and then Taurus. Sun. Okay, so these are things I want you to watch out for. Um, this is going to sound crazy, but the worst that it get is actually going to be a sign that it's about to get better. The worst that it's about to get will be the sign that we're ending. Okay? It will seem like it's not going to stop or turn for the best but that's exactly when it's going to turn for the best. Because we're waiting on timing. It can't be healed right now. We have to wait on the timing. Then when the timing happens and open up in the spirit, the revelation comes of this person. We get more spiritual messages about this person. And that will be the spiritual timing that everything opens up. And then the sun comes out, which makes me feel like the season will change. At the change of the season, at the change, at the start of spring, I got this emperor and this Aries come out to bring some type of order and authority and power. This person comes out and say, do this and do it now. That's what this energy does at the top of spring. And then once that is done, then I have this Taurus that comes in behind them and actually piggybacks on what the leader Aries says. And then this Taurus comes and brings even more order and organization. And it's all supported by the help of spirit. But. I am not too comfortable with the two people back to back. Something about them, they just make me feel like they can be working right now. But no, they want to wait. Because the fear is actually the gift. The fear is the gift. The fear is the gift. Okay? I will stop right there.